Hi everyone, it is Patrice from Teresa's Crafty Life. In today's video, I'm coming on with a quick small business haul from a local scrapbook store. I went to the scrapbook store with Angelica Crafters Treats 2017. I was able to meet her in person and it was such a pleasure. It was fun to be able to catch up with her, um, have a good meal, and be able to crafty shop together. So I just want to show what I picked up from the scrapbook store. In addition, she got me a gift. She wrote me a nice little letter and then attached this beautiful bow um, onto the envelope. So thank you for that. And that's such a great idea. She gifted me this pouch and it's iridescent and pink. It is gorgeous. In addition to this embossing folder, which has this really nice frame and then these stickers, which I don't have. I really like this yellow and pink one right here. Oh, and inside the pouch, there's a ton of handmade goodies. Oh my goodness, you didn't have to do this. I'm so happy that I actually made you a gift too, but it was store-bought items. <laughs> but this is beautiful. Look at this bow. What um die set is this? I like how this bow has three different layers on it. And this is a beautiful pink. I hope it's showing on camera. So some eyelash trim in gold and in white. Let's see? And some lace trim on the back. And then this is nice. I, I love uh, word dies. And so I definitely gonna put this um, on my desk and that way I can use it on projects. And then these beautiful flowers. And then inside are some goodies of um, candy. And then this is my absolute favorite trim from Dollar Tree. It's the heart trim. And I was recently looking for it. And so now I have some more. That way I can add it on to projects. So thank you so much for these extra goodies. So I only grabbed a couple of things at the scrapbook store. One of the first things that I grabbed is this 49th and Market. The scrapbook store has a ton of these items here along the wall. And they have a ton of great ephemera pieces that are like um, year round. Um, and based on off of color, if that makes sense. Um, that way you can use it on anything. So I am signing up for a crafty challenge and it's like pink lemonade theme. So I wanna use this collection with it. And it has 95 mix and match die cut pieces. So viewfinder, tickets, frames, tags on here, um, butterflies and all types of shapes. And, and there's beautiful colors included in this. I grabbed this kit um, because of the uh, lemons because I don't have very many of the dies or uh, stamp sets that are lemon and so I thought this was um, a great idea to be able to use this as a card base and then um, decorate it some more. It already comes with the embossed paper, the envelope, the card base, and then these die cuts um, and I like the colors of the actual leaves of the um, of the lemons so I grabbed that to support the local scrapbook store and then I grabbed this pink and fresh sentiments pack this is for seasons so for example Merry Christmas and in gold and in silver that has different sentiments joy uh, ho 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 holiday cheer pa la la and I'll include a clip of cards that I made using this same type of product from Pink Fresh Studio where there was birthday theme sentiments, general everyday sentiments. And so I feel like this is a great buy to be able to um, finish your cards with. Um, so with Christmas in July coming up very soon, I want to use this for Christmas cards. I grabbed this uh, Simple Stories uh, six by eight paper pad. It is the Retro Summer Collection. I do have the digital collection of this and I'm actually in the process of fussy cutting out some of the ephemera here uh, that goes with the collection. But I really wanted to ensure that I grab the paper because the colors are more vibrant than the principles that I have. And so this is the summer collection that I'll be using this summer and I'll do a quick flip through. So here is the collection. It has popsicles, ice cream, um, pool theme. Listen, doesn't this ice cream just look yummy? There's so many fun patterns and the ephemera pieces I really like because it reminds me of summer back in the day, hanging out at the pool. Um, so look at this one, this is so cute. And the water. 
and the polka dots i love that so pool house theme beach theme so that's a quick overview of the paper for the simple stories retro summer collection and then i grabbed a couple of 12 by 12 papers that was on clearance so i was looking for lemon paper or lemon theme paper so i found this from Paige Evans Splenda collection, Splendid Collection. This is the back. I really like uh, this paper. Angelica actually pointed it out to me for this one. So squeeze the day. So I can make a card or make this into a shaker. I love butterflies. So I thought that this was beautiful. I really like the fact that the butterflies are a really good size. It's small. And then I grabbed two of those, but the other side, I like the journaling cards for this. So this is Simple Stories Vintage Indigo Garden. That's an overview of this. This paper is from Pool Party Echo Park. I grabbed it for the solid uh, teal color, and then this is like a coral color on the other side. The rest is summer themed paper. So Echo Park Pool Party. I grabbed one of this pattern and then another 12 by 12 of this pattern. So this summer, hello summer and then the flamingo i grabbed this for the lemon theme um challenge that i signed up for i only found two um, but that's more than enough i can create a lot of things with that and then the, even the back is really pretty too it's a coral and white polka dot and then i grabbed this cut apart sheet which has multiple summer theme uh sentiments on here and journaling cards so this is everything that i picked up from the local scrapbook store and Angelica, it was so nice to be able to meet you in person. I can't wait to see you again. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.